Hi there. Uh, we are back with our Sim Charlie from our Runaway slash Regs to Riches series. We're now kind of moving away from so much the Runaway Teen and into the Regs to Riches. Um, we have met our goal of six thousand dollars. So Charlie is going to attempt to rent an apartment. So we may have to age her up. Um, as she's a teenager, and I don't know if the game will let me rent an apartment as a teenager by herself. So, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna um, check her needs here. She's just a little bit low on funds or fun. So, what we will do is we will um, start looking for an apartment. So, so why don't we see what we can do? See if a teenager can actually rent an apartment. So let's find our apartments. I'm gonna go way up here. All right. Um, three of four units available. Let's have a look here. So we've got we've got eighteen Culpepper House. And we are going to be buying this unfurnished, of course, because she can't afford a furniture yet. So um, that one has gremlins, so that means everything's going to break down. This one is historical and haunted. That could be interesting. I wonder who it's haunted by. Okay, mm -hmm. so. Okay, so there's 19 Culpepper trait, needs TLC, so that one looks okay. Does it say how much weekly rent, deposit 550, so yeah, we're pretty good that way. Um, and then this one is $400, deposit $800, and this one is... Deposit one thousand dollars. Okay. Once home to a famous local chef, legend holds that the pufferfish nigiri was invented in this very kitchen. Additionally, the dining room boasts brand new clean floors and fresh paint throughout. Okay. Um, well, let's check out some other apartments. Let's let's check out this one. So this is the Jasmine Suite. So has good schools on key line. Not sure what that does. Full of funky fertile earth energy. Twins are born here more often than not. Okay. I'm not sure about that. So this is weekly rent is five hundred. Deposit is one thousand. So, and there's somebody living here already. Okay, so let's look at the Medina Studio Apartments. Okay, so we've got this one that needs TLC, but there's somebody living there already. I mean, we can kick them out, but uh, this is... Oh, weekly rent twelve hundred dollars. Deposit one thousand. Oh, that's a bit expensive. This one's also haunted. Medina Studio. Medina Studios. Uh, it's quiet and it's haunted. Locals say that this place is haunted. Pa, what do they know? It's quiet. Maybe it's the insulation, or maybe the neighbors are very polite. Either way, it's never noisy here. Okay. And that one is weekly rent a thousand dollars, deposit eight hundred dollars. So, yeah. Um, and then we've got yeah, these ones look really expensive. We've got Hakim House, and it's historical. The landlord has one rule. The inspirational plaque dedicated to a famous historical resident can never be removed or sold. Okay. Oh, $1,400 a month rent. Deposit 5600 
Yeah, that's not going to work. What else have we got? Um, I'm thinking these are going to be too expensive for her. Let's check these ones out. Uh, 21 Sheik Street. Lively Neighbors. Okay. The neighbors live life to the max. There's often a party going on. Interesting. Weekly rent $500. Deposit $1,000. Okay. And then there's this one that needs TLC. Weekly rent $300. Deposit $600. That's not a bad. It's a very small apartment. Needs TLC. Okay. This place is incredibly spacious, cheap. It's like the landlord can't give it away. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Um, and then Zen View Apartments. Uh, where's Qu Earthquake Zone? Oh. Occasionally, there's a minor tremor here. Probably nothing to worry about. Weekly rent twelve hundred dollars. Deposit for four thousand eight hundred. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do. Um. The idea of living in a haunted place kind of appeals to me, but um. What was this one again? Uh, this mm. And this one was a little bit expensive, I think. That one wasn't too bad. I mean, it's pretty boring. I mean, you've got a smaller bedroom, a larger bedroom, very narrow bathroom, uh, utilitarian kitchen, very small living room, and this one was this one's kind of cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Fix your upper apartment with reasonable rent and spacious balcony. I kind of like that one. Rent is $600. Deposit is $550. Okay, great place to practice your handiness skills. So that means things kind of break. And this one was the haunted one, but that's, yeah. $600. $1,000. And what does that look like? It's got kind of like a basic living room, bathroom, massive bedroom. Uh, and then there's this one. This one has gremlins, so that means everything breaks a lot. Snug. $400 a month, or a week, I guess. Um, that's got an okay bedroom, okay living room. I don't like the idea of gremlins, though. I kind of like this one. This one's kind of cute. This one was 600. It's got fairly large. Well, it's got two bedrooms. Oh, yeah. And what was. That was where we were just. Oh, yeah. Just kind of running it through again. That kind of interests me too, but that's twelve hundred dollars. Where was the three hundred dollar one? Uh, that was this one. It's the cheapest. Mm. I don't know if I love it. I think. 
I keep clicking on the wrong one. I think I'm going to go for this one. 19 Culpepper House. So I think we are going to see if we can't rent that. Um, oh, we're traveling. Hmm. I think we're in the wrong mode. So that's... Let's cancel that. And... Let's move our household. Um, move household. Okay, so that was here. Okay. Let's see. We can move. Um, unfurnished. Okay, she's got, well, um, furnished, yeah, no, unfurnished. So we can, with the leftover money, we can probably buy, like, toilet and fridge and stuff like that. Things that would normally come with an apartment, but, um, yeah, like a toilet. You can't really move that from, from an apartment, so... All right. Oh, look how excited she is. Her first home. Uh, which, which is hers? This one? Oh, yeah, this one's hers. All right. Let's go into our apartment. It is empty, empty, empty. Looks like we will have some company at some point. So I think the first thing we need is some lighting. It's going to be fun to just like make this her own. Okay, so let's grab some lighting so we can see. Where are you, disc lights? Mm, I think these are the ones I'm after. Yeah. They do a good job of lighting things up. So... Okay. Well, she's got a cute little balcony here. Yeah. Okay, so first thing she's going to need is a fridge. So we just want the cheapest one. Uh, what is the cheapest one? I think it was that one. This dirty looking fridge. Uh, should we just go with a basic white? We'll just go with a basic white there. And I mean maybe one countertop. We'll just go with these unattractive ones. Okay, like this. And then we'll grab a Stove. Used stove. That's all she could afford. So then we need a sink. Um, I'll just have a white sink. Alright, and I'm assuming that this is the bathroom right off the kitchen. I don't like bathrooms right off kitchens. I mean, we, c we could build walls and make this a little bit more user-friendly, but we'll just stick with, stick with the layout they have ri right now. Alright. Is that the cheapest? That's the cheapest toilet. Yeah. 
have to remember too that we actually we need some money set aside for rent and stuff. So um, we'll put it there. We'll get one of these sinks. Put it here. Um, we'll just go with a shower. Regular shower. She can actually take showers at home. Alright. And then, so we've got kind of like a main space, but she can't afford living room furniture. So, um, we're actually just going to have her sleep on a cot right now. 255. 240, but that's not un not comfortable for adults. So let's just plop a bed in here. Just so she has some place to sleep. So we've got our necessities. We've got uh, fridge, stove, bathroom, bed. I think that's good. Anything else, she will just have to go somewhere else to get her fun up or whatever. And then we will just go along and uh, as, as she makes money, then she can decorate the place and make it her home. All right. Let's make all these auto lights. on. Power has been shut off. Pay your bills. I didn't realize we had bills yet. Where's your mailbox? Pay rent. Okay. Our first first rental payment, I guess. There we go. Okay, so... She's going to help herself to some cereal. Let's have a look at our apartment. Not the greatest appliances. Kitchen. The floor looks okay. There's no stains on the rug. So that's cool. Uh, well, there's a building across from us. Looking down over there. And then we've got our balcony. You can see this huge billboard. All right. This is just like a huge room. I almost think that this should be more the living area. So maybe she'll move her bed. Well, she went outside to eat her cereal. Oh, <laughs> she put her cereal here. Or her bowl outside. I wonder if somebody would come and clean that up. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Okay. Not quite the way I want that set up, but... <laughs> Here, we'll just move it. We'll make this her bedroom here. Okay. I think once she knows the people in her apartment building here, I think they'll she'll throw a birthday party for herself and then she'll age up. Okay, let's not leave that there. She she was taught better than that. Okay. So here we are in our new apartment. I was surprised that as a teenager she could actually um she could actually rent one, so I think she needs some fun, so why doesn't she go down to the commons area? Where is it? 
Ah, oh, she can go here, I guess. Take our elevator. Oh. There we go. Let's just practice. Maybe she'll get her fun up that way. The camera wants to keep doing stuff. Let's just have a look, see if there's any boxes with anything. I guess she could hang up her posters to make her house look better. Raccoon sleeping on the bench here. Makai Shimizu, an elder. So who are these people? So we got Yasminder, Bida, Sayagupta. Ritvik Chandran, Ahana, those names I can't pronounce. <laughs> She's pretty stinky, but she can go home and take a shower, so we are happy about that. Okay, oh, here's the box. Why don't we look for snow globes? So we still need to raise money by selling stuff, but uh, and then there's another one over here for snow globes. Any more? Okay. Oops. The camera just wants to keep going really high. There we go. From the dusty depths of the free box. Charlie's recovered a city skyline snow globe. See, I'd like to take all of this stuff and just decorate our house with all of this stuff. Age of the dinosaur snow globe. Yeah, I wish you could find more things than just snow globes in those boxes. That would be cool. Like, um, I know the first few times I rummaged in the garbages, which you can't seem to do anymore. Or I don't know why she can't. Um, you actually found some useful things that you could put in your house. But I don't know if it's just the way the game is glitched or what. Or if it, they took it out. I'm not even sure. Okay, why don't you go home. Take a shower. Looks like you're pretty tired. Maybe have another... Snack. Oh, it's 5.27 a.m. So, do we allow her to go to school? It's a good question. Because she will have school in a few hours. Or do we just not have her do that part of her life? Uh, take a vacation. Okay, she can't take any vacation days. So maybe I'll let her go to school. Let's see. It's already 6 a.m. Should probably make these auto lights. Um, auto lights. And then we'll see if she can take a quick little nap before she heads off to school. Okay. 
Okay, so she's wake her up now. She's late for school already. We'll let her go to school today and then maybe she will have um, earned a vacation day. Uh, welcome Wagon is here and she's at school. <laughs> Let's ditch school. No, Christine, you need to continue to go to school. That's her sister. <laughs> Everybody's waiting for her to get home. Wonder if they'll give up. Oh, stuff going on there. There's a big mess in the hallway here. <laughs> okay. And because there are people here, the time doesn't go fast while she's at school. And she's really, really tired. But she had her days kind of mixed up while she was living on the street, so we need to get that. <laughs> She's helping herself to her own gift. That's funny. <laughs> okay, Charlie should be getting home pretty soon. So, how's the fruitcake? Usually it's not very good. <laughs> Don't you think you should try it before you serve it? If you don't think it's good, why are you serving it? That's funny. Just standing here with fruitcake. Half-eaten fruitcake. Standing in the garbage. <laughs> okay, where is she? Oh, it's not quite time to come home yet, so I'll just speed this up a bit. Should Charlie invite over classmate Wolfgang? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, let's go back to normal speed. Um, okay. Go here. Oh, she's embarrassed. Poor performance. Yeah, well, you haven't been to, at school for a very long time, so... So, now that she is uh, living on her own in her own place... <laughs> uh, where are you going? I guess we should probably meet the neighbors who are angry. Um, invite the neighbors in. Is that a good idea? I'm not sure, but... She's stuck? Nope. She's really tired. Well, let's get a snack. Which is nothing in here. Um, have some, let's have some cereal. And we sit and chat here. It's the only place to sit. Until we can get to the flea market, then we can maybe buy a couch. And a lamp, because that's all that they sell there. I guess we're not wanted here. Well, you came when she was at school.
Yeah, I don't care really. Oh, eat your cereal. She can hardly um, stay awake. <laughs> okay, I guess she's. Well, I think she'll go to sleep and then he can do whatever he wants. He can leave or whatever. Casual discussion. Is she still here? It's only early evening. We were going to try and stay awake as long as possible, but it might take a while for her to get her uh, days and nights corrected. All our guests have finally left. There's a big mess in the foyer here. So... Well, she's doing pretty good. 5.30 a.m. She actually did really good. Alright, you use the bathroom. This apartment is actually quite huge. Like, from sleeping in a tent to going to this massive apartment, I mean, it would normally probably be small to most of us, but to her it seems just huge. Clean that up. And then maybe you can make yourself a salad. Well, you can make yourself all kinds of things. Okay. Let's go. What's a breakfast item? Maybe we'll go with a fruit salad. Um, let's make a party size. And then she can eat off of that for days. Yeah, hopefully they have more furniture than just chairs, couches, and lamps at the flea market, because it would be nice if they had tables and beds, decorations. I think they might have some decorations, but... Okay, she is learning to cook. She got some apples and some watermelon. <laughs> Her mom was a good cook. <laughs> And she'll need something for fun, too, that she can do, so. Maybe she should hang her posters. Why did you put that in your pocket? Where did you put that? Yeah, you need to eat that. School starts in an hour. So. I think we'll let her go to school for now. Maybe she can get her grades up. And then as soon as they are up, we'll age her up. And yeah. uh, continue that way. Apparently the fruit salad is not very good. And stare at our fridge. Can we put a poster on it? No. We can put it on the wall, though. We'll just hang all these posters on the wall. Okay, she is off to school. No, she's off to talk to somebody. Does he live in this apartment building, or where is she? 
Where is she going? Where are you? On the street corner. Oh, this will not go down. Where are you? Okay, <sighs> that's really annoying. <laughs> Where are you? some reason I can't go down there oh goodness there we go so she's just gonna stand outside and eat her breakfast <laughs> okay I guess she's off to school I'm gonna leave it here and we will come back next time and we'll think about what Charlie wants to do now that she's living in her apartment and uh and yeah how we can get her the furniture and decorations and stuff that she needs while still just doing flea market stuff and buying from the flea market so we'll have to find some way to to figure it out if it'll even work i guess but anyways thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this part um and we'll see you next time. Bye.